Hey guys, your boy here is and welcome back to my FIFA 18 loop hook mode. And yes, like the HM1 Neo intro mode, this current mode is also returning. Now, quick update. I haven't looked at the poll from the HM1 Neo Ties career mode. I'm going to let it run. All through next week and all through the following week. So it'll probably so that would put it about what, February. Yeah, because crude videos next weekend for the following week. Three videos left, so you'll only see two um, things we'll this week. You today, so you'll see three. And we bring it live to you. The reason the for ATV. that is it's Liverpool against Everton. It is the fact. Merseyside derby, and all that that entails. It's we live. Six games left. This is the Liverpool side. Maurice Carrius is the goalkeeper today. Both legs in the semi final. He was man of the match in his last game. And the main striker is the Argentinian Paolo Di Bala. Quite a few changes for Everton. Ashley Williams plays with Phil Jagiel because the centre backs. Idrissa Gay comes. Coutinho! It's a great now, So that's, that's three episodes. So we have two episodes going on. One went up. They're on Thursday. I don't record on Friday. Okay, that's still going to be good. The way it works. It's where they look so next, so, so you'll see what well, on Sunday. In this episode on Saturday, the day before Liverpool play in real life, I think yes, I know Coutinho's gone. I'm getting over it. He's not going anywhere in this career mode unless. Some team wants to pay his action. for Liverpool. They are in front. No, actually, because that's going to be a lot more than what want to pay for him in real life. I can guarantee fucking tell you that. You'll see a video on Monday and you'll see a video on Wednesday. So there won't be a video on Tuesday. You can see what he was trying to do at the defender in the way. A chance to. I was going to do a little criminal video there, but. That would mean that we three consecutive days. It's not really a way. Poor clearance. Into the middle it goes from Coutinho. So I decided, you know what? Yeah, he's one of the best in the business for those kind of situations. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, well done, the Take that day. He's hung on to the ball. Now I'll blow on that. I'm explaining it here so you get to know what's happening. And his movement too to intercept there. Onto the attack now. Good vision from Mane. Spotted that well and intercepted. And he's hung on to the ball there cleverly. And he's got the ball there in free kick against Everton. Your if you haven't, uh, has, really try I, I understand to to the pitch here some to make some progress. Watching this might not have seen that. Keeper goes with a fist here. I challenge. Put up the poll. I will also include the throw it in the description of this episode. Mohamed Salah. And while it only affects the secondary career mode, you know, the vote is nothing to do with the main career mode. So. But, you know, if, if you guys help, you know, I can engage what everybody wants. Chance to get it into the middle. Our watch. Against Everton. Which, you know, is, is, is good. I should get more broader, broader uh, but he just missed wider opinion. Well, they've got corners. Let's see what this one brings. 
what, what you guys want. You think might sound better? Maybe seeing what the plan is for the second. Now here's a chance to get at the opposition. Dybala! It's got to be! It's had a go here! He scored! It's a big moment for them in the match. They push their lead now to two ahead. A try. Well we? But sometimes a two-goal lead can be a dangerous it might interest we'll you, it might not. But please, if you can, please look. Restarting at 2-0. Goal It's Cuco Martina. We'll see on that, all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. Sadio Mane, right man in the right place. And now the shot. Corner here for Liverpool. Coutinho oh, yeah, so burst upon the scene as a young player in Italy, yeah, but really Saturday found his feet for, uh, when he moved to Liverpool. Well, you've only got to look at the screen to see how successful, uh, we'll and positive he's goal. been around goal. He's been and, uh, so effective and I, I realise that might well. sound negative. I'm just, I'm just being realistic. Here. Like, unless Man City completely be going and turn up, and even if they don't, like they, they, they play bad. And now for Liverpool. Uh, the best I think Liverpool can hope for is maybe a draw. Like, we've seen teams can't draw again. Like on the attack here. Yeah, every single Coutinho! Yeah. He's got his fist to it. Competition. Yeah. Here's the shot. That will be People would like. Ball. Ball. Um, but yeah. Taken by Coutinho. Very good distance to the clearance. Striding forward purposefully. There will be a minimum of three minutes. And they've cut it out. Jagielka. It's just being real. It's classy, really. But it is. Same game we're going to lose that match. I, I want to be more, you know, I want to be more supportive for the team. But I mean, how, 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 how can I be supportive? Knowing how bad our defense the second half here at and how Anfield. good City's attack is. I mentioned the opposition in, if they can. I was actually talking about this in the a video you'll see tomorrow, the second Shaman Neotice video. That's a combination of about skill and will to, to hold off in the opposition. The on the well, it could be it. Should be a chance here for Mane. And shoots! In the post! I mentioned that. Looking for Coutinho in the center. I would actually, if it's, it might sound weird, but I would rather Liverpool be absolutely hammer than to lose one now because I know Liverpool's luck. Anticipated the direction. I've been the supporting. Was able to intervene. You know, Passed his man there. Put into the middle. Especially on the last. Time. Okay, but splendid goal here. I mean, it, well, it's, it's no coincidence. It's in 2005. How many goals like this have he scored? He's just got ability. I wish it worked. If it were 2005, we could have. You don't get away with that when you're to a a Champions League fight. at this level. No, Russia blood, and that's not what you want. <laughs> from Unless the our luck turns side. right around this. I don't think we expected this. That ain't happening, this season. They have one-sided affair, but look at the scoreline. Gay intercepted well. Put through now, Paolo Dybala. Brilliant, Dybala. And here it is. It's Liverpool who scored. So, but Liverpool's luck over the past couple of years has been terrible. It has. Goalkeeper, this one. 
And it's cost him here. Well, he did go AWOP, but the score was Johnny on the spot to make him pay. Good finish. Just read the intention. Bad, bad luck is also something I, I, I have terrible luck. It's Sandro. Um, Coutinho. Coutinho, incisively. Salah. I feel like they saved some of their worst performances for when I'm actually watching. It's a brilliant and they're amazing to watch them. It's his third goal. But my own eyes, haven't you? He's really been on form. And then when I'm not watching them, they seem to play brilliant. It's given him the hat trick. But that's not all of the time. I was match ball with a great deal of pride. Sit by my phone and wait for us. So one sided today, but I can watch them. Well, the I like the look of this attack. Um, but knowing, knowing mine and Liverpool block, it's Sandro. I could just see it. And if it ended one 0 I could just see it being a 90 whatever minute. Some strength has to shield the from like you know who, Raheem Sterling. Garen, that's very good shielding the of the fucking ball. Team. And yes, YouTube, here. I will fuck and say. Opportunity. Whatever curse word, whatever cur any other curse word that comes to my mind. Absolutely unreachable. If you don't like it, it you can fuck really. off. Take his your his crown has just slipped there, and they've got the better. I mean, it doesn't even matter if they monetize my videos anyway. I don't get paid. I really don't. I've not seen any money from you. Oh, no matter how many. Corner swung in. Well, no scraps for the attackers to feed on from the goalkeeper that time. Hung on to the ball well. <clears throat> it's Mane. Good forward play from them. That's a nice bit of skill. Shots on here. The keeper might be needed again. He didn't hang on to the ball. Possession change once more. So Bieto. It's 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 a little annoying. Keen. But I'm, I'm gonna have to say I think I would rather I think I would rather a an absolute hammering where he scores a few goals rather than him scoring the one and only winning goal. To be replaced by Coutinho. And, I, and you just know it being like the 90th minute or something like that. Attacking now. Well, he's beaten his man. Coutinho. Kind of Do I think Liverpool can hold a 0 0 draw to the 90th minute hit when their team, when the opposition team are attacking us? Like Man City should be? Uh, no. I shouldn't be able to do that, but, you know, I don't know. Crazier things have happened. Miscued really with the header. Yeah, I don't know if he's heading. That's, that's, that's the, the only upside to having a terrible defence is. Man City could probably will probably score in the first fucking minute. The referee is so Sadio Mane. Hopefully, here's the shot. That is the if they do could be Liverpool, which they probably will. Respectable. Yeah, if they do, or I should say, when they do, the, the odds of Liverpool getting a draw are minus. Few changes for Everton. Ashley Williams. The chances of them winning are are practically mythical. So, make of that what you will. Make of that what you will. Is it is it wrong for me to to rather see a an absolute hammering than see winning with a last minute Raheem Sterling goal? No, I don't think so. I I just think it's me. He thinking, um, how how the fuck do we avoid that disaster? Huh?
last uh, Champions League group stage match that's going to mean anything. Provided I win it, of course. If it's a draw or a victory for Monaco, then there will still be something for them to play for. Well, now I'm. Oh, yeah, that's right. Referee blows, and here we go. Champions Cup group stage is match day five. Well, we're getting towards the end of it, and uh, not much room for error. Please, for now, them in the uh, deal for two. Monaco's lineup today. Daniel Subasic starts in goal. Camille Glick starts alongside Stefan Savage at the moment. The other firm where he went to... Um, Wijnaldum starts with Suelijo Meite in the middle. Chelsea and it's West rounded West. off the team with these two strikers. This is the Liverpool side. I think it was West Ham. Well, we've gone with a 4-3-3 formation here for them. Is that the way you see it, Alan? Yeah, I mean, it can be adjusted. Yeah, it, it could almost be a 4-5-1 if they decide to come over all defensive, this team. But... Uh, if they're on the front foot, that three up front can cause I'm the like ninety percent sure it was West Ham. I think. I think Chelsea is who I he went to last. He's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. Terrible. And I have no fear of saying he is terrible. He on the move and able to cut out the pass. Right. Clever ball. Good enough. Look for alternatives in the career because they have the opportunity to finish top of the group. Around, he will see significantly less game time. Thankfully, it's hopefully. Have to keep in mind that we are losing. Not a high chance. Risk I don't know if it's risky to, to for him to sign here and risk losing it in the defensive uh, third. Time, yes, I, I assume it will be done before the windows. Closed. Not. It's not done yet. Wijnaldum. I wonder if he'll make the same dimensions to Juventus as he was looking for. Neatly intercepted. Apparently, the only reason he didn't sign a this new contract is because we wouldn't give him a release clause, or at least the release clause he was looking for was way too that? low. He's one of the best in the business for those kind of situations. Absolutely brilliant. Delivered into the box. Comes out with a punch to clear the danger. I mean, you can un a you can understand player wine to have a release clause. You know, you club. That whipped him ball. Bring it to some length. Like, you're thinking, okay, how much do we value this player at? Like, what would we find hard sure there's to no turnover. Like maybe player in the club at the distant valuation. I don't know why Emery Chan will look like if he's if he's looking for a low one, then he's clearly thinking right. If, so we'll restart with a throw in. If this Liverpool, if I stay here at Liverpool, well, I'm just well here comes the support. Over well, this release clause, well, that guy. And Whipped maybe that's why area. he doesn't want it to be too. He he didn't want it to be too high, is so that you know it would. Scare people. Very good forward thinking from. Trust me, if any, any team that are interested, if a team is interested in you and they lose interest just because the team you are playing for are playing bad, are you are playing bad? Savage. Or they've they just maybe they signed somebody else. I don't know. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. It's, a, it's hard to... I think Liverpool know they can do oh. better than this. As Emery Chan can be hot and cold with Liverpool, some weeks he'll play Brune, it's like when he scored that bicycle hook kick against Watford, some weeks he'll play terrible and almost be like he's not even there. Or you have to well. check. It's a good cross. And you check the lineups and you the see he's team. there, and you're like, an "Wait, what? There. Yes? Like, freaking no mention of him. He's not even popped up with one of his his 
Here's the shot from distance. For one of those long shots that go well, actually when a lot closer than Emery. For a corner for Liverpool. Oh, fair play. He uh, has grew from danger. And there is the half-time whistle. You know, I, I can see both sides to it. You know, I, I, I can. I can understand him wanting a lower release clause. You know, in case. Ready to go now. And there goes the whistle for the start of the second half of the fifth but match. I can understand Liverpool's point of view. Right? If they're the going to put a release clause in, they, 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 they want to make sure they get... Been a really competitive, aggressive tussle. They're clearly saying they value Emery higher than cut that out. He, well, what he well, thinks he's valued at. At least. The but from Emery's point of view, he he might be thinking, okay, they're That's trying to price me out of a, out of a potential move if I do sign this contract. He's just gonna price, put the release clause in something that a team might not be interested in paying. Look, if the team is an interest, if if you have a release clause and the team is an interest in paying it. They clearly don't value that you that much. It's come off the goalkeeper, still in play. If your team, like, if I were a real life manager, I was negotiating a player's contract, and they said, "Hey, I, 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 I want a uh, release clause." Like in in game, it's, it's really easy. Liverpool. You know, some players will come to you and say, "Hey, I want a release Why clause," now? or "I don't want a release clause." Falcao. And the ones who I have. Promising build up. Given a release clause. I've given them Challenge. a very fair release clause. And then when they he say hey Wijnaldum. like I've I had a situation in my uh, in, actually in my Chamonio Ties career mode, I was negotiating a contract with a guy with uh, what was it Grange? Somebody else we'll put this match in your diary. I, I can't Sports quite remember if somebody his contract was up at the end of the season. Put into the middle. I was like right. for Liverpool. In really for Don't worry, we'll lose you on a free, oh, you know, here's a good play on his mind now, player to have around, you know, you make great contributions when you play in the play Cups the and in the Europa League and in the league from time to time. You know, stay on you know, the Champions League football. We're going to be in the Champions League. You already won the league, so that's a guarantee. That we'll move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. Well, this could be a decisive three. breakaway here. Um, numbers forward. I, I wanted to give him a release clause of three million. It was, you know, he, he was thirty years old, and it was like, if someone were to pay three million for him, I'd be like. But it's the team that have Fair enough. looked the most likely that have done it. I honestly don't think someone would pay three million for him, which is probably why he wanted like I think he literally half it. I think it was like one point seven five he asked for it. And I think I agreed to it. I was just like I don't think anyone will pay that much for you anyway. Hey, maybe they will. Maybe they will on um, maybe he, uh, going on his um they will see how, how how well he plays in the cup competitions would have been a very fine save as it is they'll be like yeah i mean i didn't think some one would pay jordan henderson's release clause and i was shut up at the start of the season because lester did because why i don't know i i still don't know i really don't Really trying to use but the full width of the pitch pay, here I got to make some. It's not a cross so, that's caused the defence any problems. And while he is a good player to have around, the guy well, he is could have kept the ball, but he someone didn't. who wouldn't be a you know a, a loss. I'd be like, oh no, how would I? Well, this completely ruined my team. Back in this game, and they're going to try and and shoots really stretched to make the save. Top class. This is why I would only give Offside. like. Fringe players and good rotation players. That's a straightforward offside and, and that and those kind of players. Those are the only kinds of players I would even contemplate giving a release class to. Stevan Jovetic. Played forward. A bit of menace in this attack. Good strong tackle. Uh, 
That is one of the great saves. Another shot. And well, in my possession, you know, keep hold of what I have and what I know I have. It was pretty hot for him. If I have a player who I think is right at a certain price and he has a release clause, which is nowhere near that price, I'm gonna get rid of that release clause because you know. Looking to clip it into the middle. The defender getting in the way. Like my uh. My my main player in my team, you know, that's for him all is that. And that is the final Z. Whistle. He's been top goal school. He was top goal scorer last season. I think he's going to be top goal scorer again this season. Again, 30 plus goals. Oh, so he's hit 60 goals in two seasons. And this is now about to I'll be yeah, a European champion if we win the Europa League. So teams are, are going to start paying attention to him. You know, it, 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 it's probably, you know, I, I got some, I actually got some offers for him at the start of the second season, and the, the offers, there's probably going to be more for him in the, at the start of the third season. Huh. That. Uh, that sucks. I, I was wondering who would who who would it be? I was wondering who would be the first to uh, hand in a transfer request. And sure enough, it's a Rigi. A fucking month away from the window opening. There's an open, of course, until December. I mean, January. It's December now, Corey. Jesus Christ. Um... See, this is what I mean. I don't think I Origi has a. Did I give him? I don't think I did. He didn't ask for one. I think. Um, nope, he does not. He's currently valued at twenty-eight million. Twenty-three years old. Hmm. I don't know. I can't think of I if I if I am uh, offer for him I'll sell him. I think that's the fair, fair, uh, fairest way to do it. Obviously, it'll have to be a good offer, and I'm not going to sell them to a Premier League rival, but... It is what it is. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm enjoying the smash like button you did, subscribe if you're new, and until next time, I hope you all have a very, very nice day. Peace.